has been a hot minute since I picked up my vlog camera. As you can hear, I'm a little nasally because I got super sick. Um, ew, what is that? I got super sick and um, I'm still recovering. But, hi. I have been wanting to start a weekly vlog again for the past few weeks. They're just, I don't know, it just didn't happen yet. Um, and I'm really trying to just kind of take everything, how do I say this? I don't know, go with the flow, I guess. Like, I don't want to force myself to do anything or film anything. Um, but I really, really want to bring you guys back into my life. And I do miss creating videos. Um, I miss filming and I miss like, oh, I sound so nasal. <laughs> I want to bring you guys back into my life so i'm gonna try to film a week in my life this week and let's see how it goes oh my god i just want to be able to breathe through my nose anyways it's a monday morning um today i have a driver's lesson because i have my fourth exam this month <laughs> we're trying again and then i also have a lash client um, I have some other things on my to-do list that I want to get done, but I basically just want to start off the week, you know, on a good note, but nothing too crazy, you know. It's super rainy, and this weather is making me feel depressed, so I gotta, like, put in the extra steps to make myself feel like I actually want to get out of bed and do things today, so I'm actually gonna make my bed, speaking of. Also, look at my cute little headboard that mom and I made. So happy with that we recycled her old headboard from her old bed and then i got some fabric at the at the market for like 20 bucks kind of like this teddy it's like soft teddy fabric and we stapled it on there and now i have a headboard um i'm sure you guys are going to be asking for a room tour an apartment tour so since i'm living with my mom i'm not going to do an apartment tour but i will give you guys a room tour once i'm kind of happy with it um it's i think it's almost finished i just have a few more things that i want to do to it but so far i am loving my room and i feel like i made really good use of this space because it is a small room oh my god my nose <laughs> no i can't I hate talking when my nose is clogged like it's just not it <laughs> but it's a small room so yeah I had to really like be creative but y'all know I love interior so that wasn't hard for me I actually had a lot of fun doing that anyways I wanted to go make my bed um if you no no I'm not gonna say that. I'm actually just gonna make my bed right now enjoy <laughs> fast <laughs> and I'm right away going through emails my ears still kind of clogging up a little this was my bald spot right here I had a bald spot like right in the middle of my parting and it's been growing thank god I'm just gonna open up my notion real quick I've been um I have a paper planner but I've been using notion again to kind of like have like my day-to-day or like my daily planner because I really like how I can kind of edit everything and, and format everything and I was doing it in my notes for a little bit but I felt like it was getting a bit too cluttered so back to notion for that I wrote down a start my vlog I also want to do a quick journal entry for this morning so let me take you guys through that I know a lot of you have been asking me this past I mean honestly this past year because obviously I started off the year and I was journaling with you guys and then i left you hanging because i needed to just i couldn't be there for y'all because i needed to be there for myself so i do want to bring it back you know it's just all about me like is this straight i don't know it's all about me kind of getting back into into the routine myself and just like sharing that with you guys 
So my mom's birthday just passed in November and I'd been on a mission to find her the perfect gift and then just like magic, I'm asleep came into my life. They're also kindly sponsoring today's video. The delivery experience was a total game changer. It was like perfect timing. I decided to go for the Emma Deluxe box spring for my mom. They didn't just drop off the bed. They literally built it right there and even took care of all the packaging. I didn't have to deal with a single cardboard box. Now let's break it down. So the Emma Deluxe box spring, it's like getting a slice of that five star feeling every single night they have four different colors two headboard types and feet and it's like a choose your own adventure for your sleep space let's also not forget the hybrid mattress it's like a hug for your body giving you just the right support where you need it and my mom obviously deserves the most peaceful and relaxing sleep so of course i had to go for this option now the flip topper, it's like the secret sauce. Adding a topper really helps you adjust the softness to your liking and comfort and just makes the sleeping experience even better. And last but not least, the Emma pillows with memory foam. They're like two fluffy clouds to cradle your head in the coziest way possible. Back to the birthday surprise for my mom. So Emma sleep came in the right time, making the whole process a breeze. They built the bed, packed up everything, and delivered not just a bed, but a whole experience. So if you've been pondering a special gift or just upgrading your own sleep haven, this is the sign you've been waiting for. Click the link in the description, dive into the world of Emma sleep, and get ready for nights filled with sweet dreams. Let's continue with the vlog. So let's do a little morning journal entry. You know, when you go to journal, you want to find a quiet and comfortable space where you can just like, you know, sit down with no distractions. And we actually journaled on stream two days ago, which was so special. I really loved that and I would love to do that like every week, basically. If you aren't tuning into my Twitch streams, I will have my Twitch on the screen. It's basically twitch.tv slash Lisa um, but we journaled together on stream and I thought that was so special. So yeah, I mean, if you're going to go journal, you want to take a few deep breaths to center yourself, uh, clear your mind. Um, I have like a candle lit. Um, you can put on any like music or sounds that are relaxing to you. I'm just going to sit here and just have it be quiet. So I always start with writing down the date and it's November 13th today. Um, and then I'm gonna find like a motivational little quote. I think I'm gonna go onto my Pinterest to find something that aligns with me right now. I want all the love, peace, and happiness. I will not deal with anything or anyone that stresses me or brings negativity into my life. I'm in my soft girl era. This is a little, I'm just gonna like write this down because this is me right now. Like, I wanna embody this, you know? I like to do my gratitude, so I'm going to write down um, or list three things that I'm grateful for today. These can be big or small, focusing on the positive aspects of my day. So, And I'm also really, really grateful for the community that I've been building. I'm grateful for this every day. We've been on Discord. If you aren't part of our Discord yet, I will put a link in the description. I think with me right now, it's like my presence online. I just want to make sure I'm doing something that feels fulfilling. And the way that we're building our community right now feels even more fulfilling than what I've been doing for the past almost seven years. So um, I feel like our Discord is just really, really like, I just love it. I love the energy. Everyone's just so loving and understanding. Everyone's so funny. And... I'm just so, so grateful for that. And I'm so happy that I decided to like start doing that. I'm gonna do a journal prompt. Let me find one here. Describe a time when you set a healthy boundary and how it positively impacted you. I'm really working on like my boundaries right now within friendships, but also within love, um, the way I'm communicating. I'm gonna write down some affirmations. Uh, you wanna repeat your affirmations to really cultivate a positive mindset. And you, you can speak them out loud or write them down um, to really reinforce a sense of self-belief. So the ones I'm gonna do today, let's find some on Pinterest. Oh, I'm so over this fucking cold, y'all. 
The universe is ready to make my dreams happen. My mom made this little journal cover. I no longer force things. What flows, flows, and what crashes, crashes. I only have space and energy for the things that are meant for me. Um, you can also set intentions for today. I think I'm going to leave it at this because I'm pretty happy with what I wrote about. Um, I went a bit more into detail with my journal prompt, so I'm pretty satisfied for today and maybe leave a comment with an affirmation that you wrote down in your journal entry or a journal prompt that we should try out or something anything that you want to comment leave a comment i have a little bit of time to kill before i have to go dry so i think i'm going to play the sims for a little bit and do a few towny makeovers just to kind of like i feel like that just makes me super zen Sweet little baby. Let me touch you. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> oh, my stinky boy. My stinky boogie bear. Oh, my sweet baby. Actually, no, I'm gonna make, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Instead of working on townies, I'm actually gonna try and make, if you've been watching this stream, the Sim stream, we have our Sim, Alana Haven, and her daughter, Dior Haven. <laughs> and um, Alana doesn't have parents right now, so I wanna make her parents. Just to kind of like help with the storyline. Make her like some rich parents in Tortosa. I feel like that would be cunty. Um, but I have like an hour before I need to leave, so I'm going to give myself some of that time. I'm going to set like a 45 minute timer, and then I'm going to like get myself together to leave. My mom's getting groceries right now, getting me my Red Bull, because I'm going to need that to get through my driver's class. Cunty pussy pop queen. It's early in the morning, I just woke up. So yesterday I didn't vlog because it was my mom's birthday. So I basically just ended up taking my day off and spending it with her. Today is gonna be another long day. I'm about to get ready. Well, I still need to have breakfast. I already gave Louis breakfast. My appetite has just been kind of non-existent. I'm working on some ideas when it comes to selling my clothes because I've been using vintage for a while. Um, if you watch my streams, you would already know about this because I talked about it on there. But I've been using Vinted for a while, but it's not international, which just really bothers me. And I have so much clothes still that I can sell. So I've been thinking about just kind of creating my own little Shopify store, like worn by low. I mean, I think it could be kind of nice. So I just want to kind of brainstorm that a little bit. See 
what I can get started. Stay tuned for that. You guys will finally be able to like order clothes for me, even if you live in like the US or South Africa. I know a lot of you live in South Africa and you can't order because Vinted doesn't allow that. So let's get ourselves together for today. Um, I forgot my meds yesterday, so pray for me. I'm at my studio right now with mom and I am currently kind of like organizing, oh shit, organizing my lash cart because it's kind of a mess. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I think I'm actually gonna practice some volume lashes for a little bit because I have some time before my driver's class. I'm gonna be picked up in like 40 minutes, so then we're just gonna sit and practice fanning and I'll listen to some music, chill for a little bit. After my driver's lesson, I'll come back here and I have a new lash client at five. So in between that time, I'm probably just gonna get some things done here. I'm gonna use some D's. These are a bit thicker. Okay, you wanna watch me do this? Let's see. Let's put the hair up, cause I don't like my hair in my face when I'm lashing. I'm gonna need a little spoolie. Or well, we're not gonna use any primer or anything. I'm gonna use a little cup thingy to put my glue in. I'm gonna do two little drops in there. Make sure to burp your glue. And I'm gonna get my tweezers I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use these two. I could be working on my mannequin, but I kind of just want to practice, practice, <laughs> practice fanning right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll start with like a 12. I'll start like long. I haven't really perfected my technique of fanning like in my fingers but I do like using the little this little thing to like fan it it's a little bit thicker but same way definitely narrow fans like Am I in the 
separated all the spring summer stuff into boxes um and everything else i put on the rack i'm not fully done yet though i have so much stuff to still go through well i've been selling clothes but i just like was never able to really get down to like what do i have but i have so many pieces and this is all from the past few years um mind you i've already sold a shit ton I think it's about time that I start this little Shopify. Let me know in the comments if you're excited. Um, I don't think it'll be launched this year. I think maybe aiming towards like January would be amazing. But then I also need to know like where I'm going um, when I leave my studio. But hopefully mom and I can like at least get like all the product shots done like in December. I would love to get all of that done or like most of it done. So I have like a bunch of different sneakers that I'm selling. These are like, I, I should probably take off the thing so you can see them in their full potential, but curate all the drops. Well, there's, I think there's only gonna be two different ones. It's just kind of depending on the season. And I'm sure this will continue to be added onto as I like go through my closet every time. It's time to get this all done with. I hate that I waited until like the last few months in my studio, but. Hey. Hey. Um, I have a Hannah. Great Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I can go Yes. subscribe for two months yay i haven't watched love island games yet where can i watch it i have my crunchy little boots on <laughs> i mean me but anyway <laughs> you want to buy me something marsh I definitely have a lot to work with. I was just kind of playing around with like 
how I want to like style the pieces that I'm selling because I really want to like style them into outfits so that you can right away kind of see maybe not every piece oh what I was saying like pieces like this I'm just gonna um it's like a one piece right so I'm not gonna style them but there are certain pieces that I think would be fun to kind of style into outfits and right away like show them off but I have so much clothes that I still can sell and it's all super cute but I'm just like never gonna wear it shoes accessories and then this is like my spring summer pile i have a bunch of sunglasses um more like shoes and heels and then in here i have a bunch of clothes so yeah there is a lot to do i don't know what you can see right now i don't know what i look like maybe i look like shit because it's still kind of early but i just had to be here real quick for an appointment i'm about to go back home but yeah this is what i'm working on and i just ordered a mannequin because i really need a mannequin to get this started or at least start taking product shots because i think that's going to be like most of the work and like adding it onto the website i don't even have the website yet but i need the mannequin so i can start kind of having the vision of what it will look like and then we can basically get started um, i think this will be really good it's just a lot of work to take on again but I do feel really passionate about it. And I think it's a nice step into the direction that I want to go, which is like having my own brand, selling clothes and stuff, even though these are not my own like design clothes. These are clothes that I've owned and like received or like bought. And like, I literally have so much shit, y'all. Like on these two racks is already like over a hundred clothing items. So best believe I got a lot to sell and I can't wait to be able to ship worldwide, which is just going to be amazing. I can't promise that shipping is going to be cheap worldwide because I don't know yet how that's going to go, but at least you'll get a chance to order. And like a lot of these pieces are going to be way cheaper than what they would usually go for. Some of it is like more expensive brands. Some of it is like more like fast fashion brands. Obviously, those are going to be priced even lower. I want to try to create like little price categories um so you maybe are getting like a, a clothing item that was like a 200 bucks and you're getting it for like 50 or 25 or whatever depending on what category and like i'm gonna have track suits um and i want to do another closet clean out so i feel like i'm going to continue adding on to this but yeah this is the current organization of the first drop worn by low i'm quite happy with it i took away my white uh roll because it ran out and everything that's left is like dirty and damaged so i'm just gonna leave it like that and use this white wall i was supposed to be receiving my mannequin well they could they still have like an hour but i need to leave in like 10 minutes because i have a nail model at the salon so unfortunately i was not able to be here so hopefully they'll come back tomorrow or something because i really really want to see the mannequin i think i'm just going to put it up here also i didn't feel like grabbing my vlog camera so i'm filming on my phone just gonna close the window unfortunately i missed them but I did get to organize this, which I'm happy about. I just posted it on my story as well, that you guys will be able to shop my closet internationally soon. So excited. Anyways, I'm gonna wait for like five to 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna leave to the salon to meet my new client, which is gonna be Noor. And we recently actually met up and it was really fun. And she wanted to come be a model for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I really like, how my nails turned out i think i did the manicure so fucking clean like sorry that is the cuntiest cleanest manicure i feel like this hand isn't as neat but it's still pretty good anyways